Good morning, everybody. I'm Frida Stopper, and I'm hungry. <laughs> I just delivered the kids to school. Now, I'm trying to think about what I want for breakfast. All I had this morning was water. Three glasses of water. Um, the doctor told me because my some of my uh, blood pressure medication is is a diuretic. He said I have to drink at least two liters of water a day, and I can tell that I'm really thirsty. So I try to start the day off with water. I I know. I hope my health problems are aren't boring everybody um, but it's a journey and it's my journey and if you want to join me in my journey you're welcome and if not you don't have to it's completely up to you I'm hungry now mm. need some food <laughs> They're letting the kids in early because because how cold it is. It's in the 30s. Oh, there's still frost everywhere or in a lot of places. What should I have for breakfast? Do have egg white. Mm. I don't know. Definitely start with coffee, I think. Or maybe I'll have a mandy. I think I'll start with a mandy. A little mandarin orange. Dude, what? Whatever. Somebody was just driving and I'm behind them and then they randomly start backing up like, into the uh, parking spot. <laughs> like who does that? In the middle of traffic. Yes, people do it. I couldn't back up because there was a line of cars behind me. But she did a good job backing in, even though she didn't have much room. I like Memphis. I know a lot of people have this is about Memphis but I like living here it's a, uh, I feel good living here you know it's home it's home when I was younger and even after we were married we still liked moving to a lot of places different places and seeing places we've never seen before, which we still like to travel and see places we haven't seen before, but um, I don't know, having children changed us or getting older changed us. Um, we've had a, a few uh, family emergencies and, and we've realized that the value of staying put I think. Um, when you 
go to the pharmacy, the people who work there know your name. When you uh, go shopping, the cashiers and the people uh, at the stores know you. Walgreens, Aldi, Kroger, Dollar Tree, all those people know me when they see me. They know I've got a bunch of kids. <laughs> Some of them know my name. Okay. We started parking in the carport because of ice and snow. We weren't always parking in the carport. But now we are. And I think I figured out why I was so drowsy lately. Last week when I went to the doctor, was it, was that last week? Thursday, yes, Thursday of last week. She gave me a new medication for, um, um, for my, um, restless leg syndrome. And then, um, I'm supposed to take it at night before I go to bed, but it gives me, daytime drowsiness so last time I last night I stopped taking it and today I am not nearly as drowsy so I'm glad it wasn't some illness that was making me tired I can just take that medicine less often and it's okay I only take it when I have severe problems with my restless legs like my whole body was has um, issues <laughs> my mom has restless legs so um, and it is genetic sometimes. Um, and I found out when I was in Kentucky that most of the people in my family have low blood sugar. They get low blood sugar, which is the pre-diabetes, I think. They probably all have pre-diabetes. But nobody's fat, as fat as me. Nobody. I'm, I'm the fat one. <laughs> and I say that I, I don't feel particularly... Like, I don't have shame or guilt about it because I became this way from my hernia. And it's, my hernia is the beginning of all my problems because um, my hernia makes me depressed and it makes me eat a lot. And, and it also prevents me from exercising. And I just, it's a, it, my obesity is a symptom of my hernia. It's not, it's not like I just, got lazy and sat down no I I can't do things that I would like to do so I have to deal with that the way it is and uh, and and I'm trying now to, to fix my diet and and just graze and find other things to do that's um, entertaining to me in the in the past when I was single I was skinny and what I did f for that was I would go shopping for clothes instead of eating a lot when I got uh, hungry or a uh, craved a, a large pizza I would go buy a pair of jeans instead and it helped it, it was really um, it really worked I I did uh, really I lost so much weight and I was so skinny and um, I never weighed more over 200 pounds. I never weighed, I always uh, stayed under 200 pounds. And when I lost weight, I was uh, size six jeans, yes. I don't think I'll ever see a size six again. I don't have that, that much hope. <laughs> I'm not that optimistic, but um, I will be whatever I will be by eating low sodium, low fat, and low sugar, and low FODMAP. <laughs> so, we'll see what that gets me. I still want to look fabulous. I like to wear fabulous look clothing, and regardless of my size, because people don't want to be fat. They became that way somehow through something depression or a uh, food disorder or something and they still deserve to look fabulous no matter what their size and I say that be because 
even when I was skinny, I would look at how fabulous some of the plus size clothing are. And I, and I, um, used to think, wow, some of those clothing are really beautiful and fabulous and gorgeous and flamboyant. And if I was that size, I would look at the clothes and, and say, if I was obese, this is the, the thing I would choose. And it was almost like in my mind, I, I knew that obesity was in my, in my f uh, fate or future or somehow, but I didn't know how, of course. Um, but here I am. We all see how I am. <laughs> and I, I just told you how I got here. Um, I, I, I struggled before, but I was never, never, never this big. Never. I became this big after my daughter was born. And my hernia was finally, uh, it, it was finally, um, a life or death situation. So here I am. This is what it, it is what it is. And I, sometimes I, I'm down in the dumps, but here I am. And I, uh, YouTube has given me a way of, um, feeling good about my life because I'm doing something. I entertain people. I can inspire people. And I know I, I don't have a lot of supporters, but I have really good supporters. The ones I have are great and amazing. And I love all of you. So here I am just I'm just uh, explaining how I got here, I guess, because of the fact that you will see me now eating uh, specific, specifically low sodium, low fat, low sugar, and low FODMAP, which I was already eating low FODMAP. And everybody have a great Thursday and a great ride into the weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.